so my name is Rene, I come from the Faculty of Architecture and I'm going to briefly talk to you about the mass customized housing. What's the mass customized housing? I'm going to tell you shortly, but before I'm going to talk to you about the context or the underlying uh, problem that we have in the construction sector. It's the poor productivity of it. If you compare to the consumer product production, uh, we're looking actually of the productivity going down since the, uh, 1995. So if we think about the mass production of housings from the 60s, uh, so we think about in Tallinn, Lasnamä, Mustamä, Eismä, yes, the productivity went up, but really the, uh, now the productivity has gone down and, uh, and, and we, it also brings us the uh, very high housing prices. So who can afford uh, buying a house today? So, so you can raise a hand. <laughs> no, I, I thought so. <laughs> So, uh, so the, uh, but the underlying problem with the mass production, so if we want to increase the productivity, is the uh, desire for getting a custom personal design. So we can't simply just do the mass production. We have to do a mass customized production. So essentially, we're talking about uh, keeping the efficiency of uh, mass production but getting the output, the uh, variance in the output, so you can actually personalize or localize the houses to the, either to the local context or the, to the needs of the buyer. Thus we uh, started designing uh, families of houses or kind of uh, products, mass customized products of houses. There's essentially a modular designs that you can use the combinatorics to get this uh, personal touch of the house or the, uh, so essentially you pre-produce all of the modules and keep the efficiency but you can combine them in a different ways to match the needs of the user and the budget of the user and the local aspects of the of the city or town that you're actually building those houses so how do we do it we we have those uh, what, what we call uh, decision trees it's like a Dif uh, and you can see the different uh, modules there and then one of the house is just a subset of the, the entire modules that based on the customer choice so basically it's like climbing a tree if you choose a branch you actually have other branches to choose but you possibly can't go to the other branch unless you come down to the tree and start it all over again so essentially it's a, it's a kind of from a user experience point of view, it's a journey that the user takes to customize their homes. And thus we started with the research assistants, designing those different house types, those mass uh, customer uh, house types, and the very first one. So we only half year through the pilot project, so, so it's by no means finished, but we keep going and hopefully next year I'm going to talk about some of the houses that have really been finished. The very first one is, is, a, is a code named Dacha. It's a house that fits into a, a several containers and can be shipped uh, uh, all over the world. So essentially, the, the um, a group of uh, assistants started looking at actually about the container sizes. So we've got the 20-foot container and 40-foot container, and the, essentially the houses, uh, the parts of the houses need to go into the containers and obviously there's several ways you can uh, you can back them uh, package them up but the very key concept was that you can fit all of the complicated stuff in the house such as kitchen bathroom uh, toilet uh, your utility room uh, into a single 20-foot uh, container and basically seal it off and transport it anyway in, in the world the container also works as a stabilizing uh, core of the house, so making it uh, earthquake uh, safe and also gives the stability for the entire structure. But the rest of the elements of the house can be actually flat packed into other containers. So you maintain the efficiency of transport. So you will leave one of the containers to the place and other containers you take it back because there's a there's a global uh, circulation of those containers anyway. Uh, there was, uh, the team actually went to a uh, Wood Hackathon event. They, they, they built the, the very uh, wooden uh, 1 to 10 scale uh, prototype 
Muppet, and uh, they actually managed to win the hackathon. Uh, and, and yeah, the, the actually, actually, it was quite quite interesting experience. We're gonna replicate this event probably next year in uh, Estonian Academy of Arts. So you're very welcome to join. It's, it's a wonderful event, and um, hopefully will take place in next October. But the house type, it can, as I said, can be shipped anywhere in the world. That's the ball trees. Uh, it has double layers, or it can have double layers because it's still mass customizable and there's several versions of it and all the elements including the balconies and terraces can fit into the containers. So the way we actually, we now taken another step and have a one potential client from Sweden with, with quite difficult uh, uh, site lo uh, location and, and conditions. Uh, but what does the mass customized product helps us to do is actually offer several different configurations, if you wish, to the same client, and then with a very quick and uh, in a very efficient way. So basically, with, uh, because we have all all the components, we just need to assemble it digitally and then produce the output. So so yes, it's kind of started to work. We'll see where it takes us. There's another house type, which is more of uh, an apartment house, and then we, we actually took the inspiration from the Tallinn house, which is a small two to three story house, We're looking to actually how to produce it in a modular matters, um, how to stack up uh, all, of the, all of the shafts, all of the communications. The house needs to be really, I mean, there's not too much of a space for, uh, for creative design because the House housing is a very price sensitive uh, area. If you, if you don't meet the uh, good price, you have no way of actually building them. Especially if we talk about those mass uh, customized products that are potentially a very scalable uh, concept and have to actually be used for, for populating cities, not for individual house, uh, not for building individual houses. Well, one of the things we've been looking is actually how you can transport, obviously, how you can manufacture it in the, uh, in the factory. There's been a couple of very funny stories that what are the limitations of the transport, what are the limitations of the factories. For example, one of the factories said, oh, we can't produce this module because the door of the factory is too small. And uh, it's, it's been quite quite interesting journey, and we're looking at a couple of interesting other concepts. Uh, how, for example, how to do this modular uh, uh, house type with this minimal touch to the surrounding environment. Obviously, you take them to the location. You don't produce them locally, so that already saves the local environment. Uh, but also, we're looking at how to actually get rid of the foundations, almost uh, uh, put the house on the stilts. So, and then a couple of in interesting uh, uh, interesting methods being discussed. We work with the uh, Teltec uh, engineers, uh, and yes, um, uh, we also work with the modular manufacturers, obviously. Uh, we have uh, Velement, which is uh, one of the best uh, producers in their technology here in Estonia. We also collaborate with the uh, uh, IT spin-off, uh, uh, Craig Thomas, that actually helps uh, us to put, uh, bring these uh, this house types in front of the public. And we're obviously looking for more manufacturers to join the party. We're looking for research assistance for the next year. So anyone interested, just uh, get, get in touch. Thank you.